G'day guys, welcome back to the podcast. Today we have a very special guest, WA Young Gun, Nathan O'Driscoll. Firstly, thanks for coming on, Nathan, and can we get a bit of a backstory on yourself? Uh, thanks for having me, lads. Um, pretty much I'm a country lad, so I grew up in northern little country town uh, west of, um, east of Perth, about an hour and a half east, so i um, grown up there my whole life, did schooling all there too, junior footy up here as well, so... Um, then obviously came down to Perth, did uh, play in the waffle for Perth Demons, and then progressed through the ranks at state level as well. So yeah. Um. So what got you into footy, and was there like a certain age that you started playing? Um, I, I played Oz Keep, but I didn't really enjoy it. So I think when I really, really enjoyed footy was probably under nines onwards. I've always loved it. It's probably been my favourite sport over any other sport. Um, no real particular reason to be honest with you. I think I just like everything about it. And um, I probably I idolised Nat Fife growing up a lot. So um, he, he was a big one for me. I used to watch all of his games and that was a bit of a motivation factor as well. Um, growing up as a young boy, did you play any other sports apart from footy? Or was it just AFL all the time? No, no, no. So I played um, a lot of basketball growing up too as a junior. Um, played at country, country level as well. So I was pretty decent at basketball. Couldn't shoot, but... Um, you know, I don't have to drive and pass. But, um, yeah, and I played a bit of cricket as well, but I was no good at that as well. So, yeah, a couple of sports. And growing up, did you have any favourite memories playing footy as such? Um, I've had a few. So I was lucky enough to play in a really solid team down here. So we won, like, five out of the six years at junior level. So we've, got, we've won a few trophies. And I, I don't know, probably my favourite was winning the um, – the, the title um, in the under-18s tournament last year, um, yeah, against the big country. That was probably one of the best games like to ever play in, so, especially winning it up to the Siren. So I'd say that's probably, probably the highest. Um, so as a young fella, did you look up to anyone, not just in the AFL industry, but in general? Um, yeah, again, I think it's back to Nat Fife. I, I really did um, yeah. look up to him. Probably not off the field. Um, don't really know him as a person, but... Um, on the field, you, you saw how much of a leader he was and how, how hard he went for the footy. So um, he was definitely the one, the one I was watching. Um, so what made you decide to, guess, take up footy more seriously? I think, again, it was the, the fact that in footy, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So in basketball, you have your limits. So, like, you can't contact as much and everything like that. So I think football just has, has everything. So you can run with the ball... You can tackle people. Um, you can kick goals. Um, you can you can um, punch the footy. Like it's just you can do everything, and I think that's what interested me the most. So your sister Emma plays with the Freo Dockers. What was that like to watch her go through the ranks and to I guess learn off her? Um, no, it was really good actually. So um, obviously she only played two or three years of football before getting drafted. So I was a bit jealous about that. But <laughs> um, no, no, it's, it, it's always good for. Um, anyone to be playing high level footy, and then that is my sister as well. And we got to go watch all of their games. So, um, no, no, really, really happy for her. And um, she's she's been playing pretty good football too. So you were selected to play in the under sixteen All Australian side. What was that like as an experience? And what what was your initial reaction when you were selected? To be honest with you, so I was at school. Um, I think we were getting ready for exams, so we we're doing exam prep, and I got a phone call. <laughs> And I took it under my desk where the teacher couldn't um, see me. And um, they told me about it. And I was just like, I was in sh- complete shock. I, was, I stood up in front of everyone. I was just like, um, I've got to go outside. Like something big just happened. And my teacher thought it was a family member, like an accident happened. <laughs> and yeah. I went out and I was just in complete shock. I, I was not expecting to get all Australian at all. Because to be honest with you, I didn't have the best carnival. I had probably yeah. one, one good game out of the three. So it was, yeah, ma- massive shock for myself. And I, I'm going, but I couldn't have been happier. So, yeah. yeah. To play in the under-17 All-Stars game on Grand Final Day, what was that like in ex- as an experience? Was there any pressure playing on the G in front of, like, a crowd that was coming in to watch the granny as well? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, that was actually really awesome. That's what you play for, the crowd and everything like this. So, Obviously, you got the nerves going early, so um, I get pretty nervous before any game. I um, go to the toilet a fair bit, but um, that's just how I am. I just, I just, yeah, get real nervous. And um, 
Yeah, it was just like a normal game. You think of it as a normal game. Um, when you're out there, you, you don't really notice the, the big stadium and all that. You kind of just focus on ground level. So, um, no, nah, that was an awesome experience and um, couldn't have been more grateful for that as well, especially to play um, at the MCG on grand final day. Like, people dream of playing on grand final day. So, um, yeah, no, I'm so grateful for it, um, even though it was a terrible grand final. Um, yeah, that was awesome to play there. Um, as a bottom ager, you're selected to play for WA in the under 18 national championship. What was that like to play against some of the best players in the country? No, that was a, that was again another really good experience for myself. Um, a good learning curve because you realise that you can't always be the um the best player, and you got to realise that there's good players around you and, and better um, players that are better than you. So, um, yeah, no, it was just a really good opportunity. A really um. Yeah, really good opportunity for me to just get a feel for what that level is like. And um, obviously this year we didn't get to play, but it would have definitely helped me coming into this year um, just to know what you're coming up against. So no, I was really grateful for that opportunity too. Um, you mentioned playing for WA, I mean Perth Demons, sorry, in the WA, in the Waffle. What was that like getting told you were getting selected to play for them? Um, again, it was a bit of... Um, it, it, it wasn't really a surprise because we got told Logan, you obviously know Logan McDonald. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we got told in the preseason that myself and him were going to be playing league. We just weren't sure when. So Logan obviously played round one. Um, I had to work my way up. So I played a few Colts games and a couple of resis and then um, obviously got that senior berth and, um, yeah, couldn't have been happier and I got to keep my spot on the side. So it wasn't really a surprise, but... Um, I was definitely shocked when I did find out the news that I was debuting because it came at a really strange time. I only played one reserves game, so I thought for sure I'd be, be um, grinding away at resis for a little bit longer. But no, I was really, really happy with it. And yeah, couldn't have been more grateful. Yeah. And do you reckon moving forward, do you reckon that helped your footy as well? Oh, 100%. I reckon that um, coming into an AFL list, you, you, you're used to being um, the, the dominant one as a junior. And I think playing league footy now, like it just teaches you like you can't always be the, the go-to player. You've got to play a role. And um, I think going into an AFL list, a lot of us 18-year-olds aren't going to be that top-end player, that, that Nat Fife or that Scott Henry or Dangerfield. You're going to be a role player to help players like that. So um, I think league has um, re- really um, helped me with that aspect going forward. Um, so you also um, had the combine a few weeks ago. What was that whole experience like? No, it was awesome, man. So it was a bit different this year. So we didn't obviously get to go over to Melbourne and yeah. strut our stuff on, I think they do it at the MCG over there um, with all the other um, states. So that was a bit disappointing. But um, again, we had um, the girls with us, so the WA 18 girls, and they did it next to us whilst our boys grinded away. So, no, it wasn't too bad. We did that, um, I think, hey, um, no, Wesley, Wesley um, School. So, no, it was all right. Um, yeah, really, again, I, I performed pretty well there, so I was happy with myself. But, um, yeah, no, I couldn't have been more grateful. Um, yeah. So, before we wrap up with Potty, do you have any advice for younger kids, or just kids in general, that are wanting to pursue footy and maybe make a living out of it, I guess? Yeah, I think the, the bit of advice I can give you is just don't lose confidence. So whether you have a bad patch of form when you're going up the ranks in a, in a higher league, just don't lose confidence because I think football and every other sport is very much based off of confidence. And if you have that confidence and you, ke- and you continue to keep building on it and, and get better, um, then you're going to be fine. Um, if you have belief that you, got, that you can make it, then you're going to make it. So... I think it's just, it just comes down to personal um, belief. So, yeah. So, thanks, guys, for watching this week's video with Nathan O'Driscoll. Uh, go check out our Instagram where our link to all our socials will be in the bio as well. As well as while you're at it, go check out Nathan's. Uh, the link to his Instagram will also be in the description. But thanks for jumping on, Nathan. means a lot. And best of luck for the upcoming draft. Uh, thanks, Ed, for having me, fellas. Cheers. Thank you.